another dream team year. Congratulations to Block 4, who won the first ever film festival. I'm Sydney Springer, and this year is a lot of empty space. So after some contemplation and many possible options, I've decided that I kind of like the extra space, so if I replace Justin with someone else, one of the best possible option is myself. So instead of inviting someone else to share the camera, which by the way loves me, I'm just gonna fill both spots. Hello, I'm Yendis, and with so many students this year, I wanna talk to you about firsts. There are a lot of firsts in life. Your first steps, first time you tasted ice cream, first time you were featured on Bethel College Crushes and Compliments. Well, some of us have been there, but today is a special kind of first. <laughs> it's the first Bethel News episode of the school year! Speaking of first, let's talk about some inevitable firsts that you, dear freshies, will experience this next school year. Now, Marky is a true Bethel College pilot. You thought that having a crazy week and being here makes you a pilot. Well, it does, but it gets better with the stories you'll soon be sharing. Stories about the first time you approach the drink station with a full tray, and you think you can hold both up your tray and fill up your drink, but you can't, so you drop it in front of everybody because that would stink. The first time you watch Bethical News and actually think it's a little funny. Hearing our mascot's secret name, or the first time you get sick and mom and dad are no longer around to care for you, so instead of asking for help or going to a doctor, you decide to WebMD yourself, only to discover a terrible diagnosis and proceed to take the fetal position in your dark, damp, open room, silently trying not to cry, but despite your best efforts, a single tear falls to the ground. If a tear hits the ground and no one's around to see it, are you actually crying? Or did you just get a little something in your eye? So to remedy that existential crisis, here's Susan Miley. Today, I'll be teaching you a simple trick so that when times get hard or soft, you have new options available. Let's see. Ah, uh, yes. First, you want to take a bowl. If using a personal bowl, make sure it's an appropriate size for how much you eat. If using a DC bowl, you'll just have to figure out how many bowls it takes to satisfy your hunger. Next, take your favorite cereal and fill the bowl about two-thirds of the way up. The next step is the most important. Milk is not an option, as it can further give you digestive problems. So use off-brand Pepto-Bismol instead. Go ahead and pour it in. Looks good. And enjoy! It's a bit chalky, but the thickness really is quite good. It will also help solve any stomach issues you may be experiencing. Up next, it's Sammy, here to tell you what's up next. Thanks, Susie. This is for all of you who are wondering what to to do this weekend. Firstly, all day tomorrow in the basement of the Everest World Auditorium, the theater department is having auditions. Don't be shy, you could be the next rising star. Tonight, campus activity, international students, and the men's soccer team have come together to put on a bonfire and hot dog roast outside Shiloh Chapel at 9 p.m. Be there or be square, because you're not around. Get it? I hope you all found that helpful. Till next time, I'm Sydney. And I'm Yendis. This has been Bethical News. Aren't you gonna throw the paper? Do I look like Justin Brown to you? Mm, no, you look a whole lot better. <laughs>